Hey guys, welcome back to Unboxing with Scott. Today we're showing you this bug zapper. Couple standard information for y'all right here. You guys can pause the video if you'd like to see more. So guys, this is it. It has a carrying hook so you can mount it somewhere or you can just set it down on its base. The plug's not that super long, so to use it outside, you might need a extension cord because I don't recommend putting it right beside your house. So I recommend putting it a little distance because um, it can happen. Sometimes these can catch fire if enough bugs get in there and the drop and fill up. So if you're leaving this on overnight, which I don't recommend, I recommend you guys using it only when you're outside. Um, but if you do use it on overnight, then I do recommend you guys keep it away from any buildings for safety. So the bottom, you can clean it from there. Let's go ahead and turn it on, show you guys how it looks. Again, they give you a manual and a cleaning brush. So if you're not familiar with bug zappers, basically the light attracts the bugs and the bugs go to the light and then they get zapped um, and they die. So pretty simple. This one does turn on. I like this one because it's bigger. Uh, the bigger they are, the more they can attract more bugs. I am disappointed that the plug's not longer, but that's kind of typical on these. Um, when you have bug zappers, I don't know why, but the companies don't make long cables. I mean, we need long cables, but companies don't do it. So, you know, it's kind of a normal thing. So you may need a extension cable. I say you can put it beside a building if you're gonna be out there with it, but if you're not, you know, I would not have it right beside a building just for safety precautions. That's my personal opinion. Most people don't care. They just put it right beside a building and nine out of 10 times, nothing ever happens. But for safety, I like safety. So that's how it looks. 